Space exploration is very anomalous. Ever since we first started looking at the sky, we have seen things that look strange, yet we are drawn to it. We are drawn to things we don't know anything about, and we call it human curiosity. But what if it is not simply curiosity? What if our intuition is telling us that we have a purpose that we have forgotten about? Is it possible that as our mind evolves with this notion, we will start to remember things that are beyond our comprehension today? This is possible and it answers why we keep questioning who we are and what we are doing here. We are still struggling to come to terms with things that are of this earth that seem extraterrestrial. Things that exist like the pyramids where we are told were built by emerging civilizations Yet the sophistication in design and construction is simply off the charts in terms of accuracy and alignment. We do indeed question what is going on, so do our governments. So the question has to be, how much do we currently and historically know about exactly what is going on? Wait till you hear this. Remember, NASA commissioned the Brookings Research Institute in Washington to prepare a report on the likelihood of encountering extraterrestrial life and to detail how NASA UFO sightings should be handled. The final 219 page report published in 1960 was titled Proposed Studies on the Implications of Peaceful Space Activities for Human Affairs. One section was dedicated to the implications of a discovery of extraterrestrial life. The study is now referred to simply as the Brookings Report. The report predicted that if extraterrestrial life were discovered, it could bring about profound changes or even the collapse of our civilization. The report noted that such a discovery could come about at any time and that any admission of UFO activity could incite fear in the public. It suggested that evidence of alien existence might be found in artifacts left on the moon or other planets. The Brookings Report made no specific recommendations to NASA about continuing secrecy around UFOs and extraterrestrials. In one sense, it suggested that the public would be less shocked if the information was revealed. On the other hand, the report concluded that more studies needed to be done in order to determine how the public would respond emotionally and intelligently to the discovery of intelligent extraterrestrial life. The report questioned whether the public should be told about any encounters or whether the information should be withheld from the public for what ends. This report may have influenced NASA to continue its policy of secrecy and hide from the public a conversation involving NASA Armstrong and Aldrin as the two astronauts stepped foot on the moon's surface. The first two minutes of the official transmission of Aldrin and Armstrong's first steps on the moon are silent. NASA officials claimed a TV camera malfunction and destroyed the audio. However, others beg to differ. Those who were there at Mission Command, as well as radio operators who heard the transmission, both agreed that the sound was not obliterated. It was covered up by NASA. Armstrong and Aldrin actually reported that we saw some visitors. They were there for a while. There were other spaceships. They've landed there and they're watching us. NASA tried to keep this transmission secret and denied it ever occurred. Since then, a number of people who were at mission control at the time have written their own accounts of what they saw and what they heard. Is NASA now slowly releasing some of the information. If so, why? Is danger approaching? On June 13th, 2011, NASA's Administrator Charles Bolden sent out an emergency preparedness video to NASA employees. Although he discussed the need to be prepared for any emergency, he emphasized that NASA has the responsibility for the lives of people, not only here on Earth, but off this planet. He did not elaborate on the latter part of this statement. He also did not give details about the type of emergency under consideration. Some experts believe that this is just one of many hints 
NASA is giving to indicate that there's more going on in the universe than what is being disclosed to the public. Another subtle indication of intelligent extraterrestrial life is NASA's release of photos that show alarming structures on both the moon and Mars that are clearly not natural formations. Experts conclude that such structures could only be built by intelligent life. According to its about page, the United Family of Anomaly Hunters, UFAH, is a nonprofit organization with active members around the world. They go on to say their sole purpose is to help bring disclosure to the citizens of the Earth about past and current civilizations on planets and moons in our solar system. They primarily focus on Mars because it has the most data to work with, but they still investigate anomalies in our entire solar system. To date, UFAH has cataloged about 68,000 photos, all showing some type of anomaly. The collection has come from archives of NASA and from the archives of both the European and Indian space agencies. The photos present compelling evidence that structures exist on Mars and the Moon that can only have been built by intelligent life. NASA has occasionally inadvertently revealed these extraterrestrial made structures. In 2015, the organization published photos of the Chinese lunar landing, somehow a picture of an old Apollo mission from nearly 50 years earlier was included in the mix. Some believe that upon close analysis of the photo, you can see a non-human made structure. Recently, on September 12, 2016, NASA released images of Mars from what is known as the Murray Buttes region. Some photos show Mars with a bluer sky than previously documented. Blue sky indicates the presence of oxygen, which may, as some have previously said, make it possible for humans to breathe there without the assistance of oxygen transported from Earth. In addition, researchers have concluded that NASA works with Hollywood to slowly release information about secret space programs. Famous directors, producers, and filmmakers are believed to be associated with extraterrestrials. The films inoculate humans to the reality of their existence. We may be able to discover the truth about extraterrestrial life sooner rather than later as traveling to Mars becomes more and more of a possibility. The electromagnetic EM drive was launched into space in 2016. This is an engine that defies Newton's fundamental laws of physics. To each action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The EM propulsion drive has no propellant. Where did this technology come from? Could it have been relayed to us by extraterrestrials? Or better yet, ancient texts. The implications are huge. The EM drive has passed peer review, and if it works, a trip to Mars would only take 60 days. While more work needs to be done, it is expected to be ready to go soon. China is also working on the EM drive, making this venture a sort of modern day space race. When the Brookings report was published more than 50 years ago, the world was a very different place. Space exploration technology was still in its early phases, and the prospect of sending humans to the moon was still a dream. A lot has changed since 1960. Three countries have landed on the moon, an International Space Station orbits our planet, and the US landed a rover on Mars, and of course, the new space race in its infancy. So who knows what the next 50 years will reveal. But we still need more information, especially beyond NASA's scope, and the Brookings Report is long overdue for a revisit. Don't you agree? Comments below, guys, and as always, thank you for watching.